Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can enter and convert between decimal degrees and degrees minutes seconds on the TI30XS multi-view calculator. To do that we'll be using the second function key that looks like this located here as well as the probability key with the second function of angle that looks like this located here. This will be done in degree mode which you can tell if you're in with the little DEG at the top of your screen. If you're in a different mode, you might get a different answer. So if you don't see DEG, what you can do to change it is press mode, and then you see this menu here with three options. You want to make sure to highlight the DEG and press enter, and then clear. And you should now see DEG at the top of your screen. Let's say we were given 45 degrees, 30 minutes, 0 seconds, and we wanted to enter that on our calculator. Well, we could do that by pressing 45, and then second function, and then the PRB key to bring up this menu here. And we see the first option that's highlighted, number one there, is the degree symbol. So we press enter, and we now have 45 degrees. Next, we enter our minutes, which is 30 back to our menu, and we can scroll down to 2 and press enter. There we go, 45 degrees, 30 minutes. Now since we don't have seconds in this example, we could leave it here, but we'll enter it just to show how you do. So we enter our seconds, and then back to the menu, and you can either scroll down and press enter, or you can just press number 3. So we'll just press 3 here, and we see we now have 45 degrees, 30 minutes, 0 seconds. If we wanted to convert this to decimal degrees, all we have to do is press enter. And we now see we have 45.5 decimal degrees. What if we were given 45.5 decimal degrees and wanted to convert that to degrees, minutes, seconds? Well, we can do that by entering the 45.5 on our calculator going back to our menu, and then if we scroll all the way down to number 6 here, we have an into DMS function. And you can either press enter or choose number 6, so that you get this on your screen, and then press enter again, and you see our 45.5 decimal degrees has converted to 45 degrees, 30 minutes, 0 seconds. Another example, let's say we were given 270.555 degrees and wanted to get the degrees, minutes, seconds out of that. Well, again, we just enter our degrees on there, back to our menu, and if we remember back, the sixth option was the into DMS, so we can just press 6, there we go, press enter again, and we see that's equal to 270 degrees, 33 minutes, 18 seconds, which is correct. And again, we can enter that as degrees, minutes, seconds on our calculator using the angle menu here. One, there's our degrees. Two, there's our minutes. And then 18. Number three is our seconds. There we go. 270 degrees, 33 minutes, 18 seconds. You can also do calculations with this. Like let's say we wanted to add one degree and 20 minutes to this. Well, you just add, then enter our degrees, which was one. Degree, 20 minutes. Press enter, and we see our 270 degrees, 33 minutes, 18 seconds, plus 1 degree, 20 minutes, has converted to decimal degrees. And again, if you want that back in degrees, minutes, seconds, all we have to do is choose the sixth option here, and see that we get 271 degrees, 
53 minutes, 18 seconds. This function can also be used for time. Let's say we wanted to cook something for 1.6 hours, but didn't know what that was in minutes. Well, to find that, all we would have to do is enter our 1.6, there we go, and then convert that to degrees, which will stand in for hours in this situation. So 1.6 degrees, or 1.6 hours, number 6, into DMS, and we see that's equal to 1 degree, or 1 hour, 36 minutes. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody!